and Chucklefish, the same people who have uh, published them, um, I think, or made um, Starbound and uh, shit, I can't remember the other game, but Stardew Valley. Um, this will be the first in a series. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh my God, is this gonna be another series you're gonna purposefully delay again? No, because this time. This will be actually temporarily replacing my RPG playthroughs, at least until I can find an editor. So, what's Stardew Valley? Well, Stardew Valley is a game that's similar to uh, games like Harvest Moon. Now, if you haven't heard of Harvest Moon, basically it's like uh, a game where you manage a farm. Now, I'm not talking like Farmville casual Facebook bullshit, I'm talking real farming, as in like, cultivating, and all that, and yeah, and this won't just be any playthrough, mind you, it'll be a different playthrough compared to, um, that's what, so, uh, let me just go to the new thing too, yeah, this is my character, now, uh, I already, um, made, um, made something, uh, I actually made a, uh, a save for this, uh, so that, um, we can start ahead, but, um, uh, but actually, no, I did that so that it could work, because there will be a, um, um, this game will be classified as a trickster playthrough. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, let me explain once we get into the actual game. So for now, let's create a character. I'm gonna name this guy Tizel. The family name will be Trick Farm. Or there we go, Tricks Farm. Favorite thing? Video games. Now my animal preference, I actually like cats. Uh compared to dogs and all that, so yeah. Let's make my eye color black as coal. My hair color black. Uh, my pants color. Yeah, let's just keep it blue. So, uh, if I recall, there were some improved hairstyles that came with the game. Uh, hold on, let me just uh, turn it back to a normal color so that I can change the hair. And, uh, no, no, no. There we go. That that looks like my hair. Ah, that's good enough. So, for my shirt, uh, let's go with... Yeah, that one. And for accessories... Oh, wait, those are basically like beard and shit, so... Yeah! This is me. Uh, let's just change it to red. There we go. Now, let's do it! Now, I apologize for the audio issues for the first part, but trust me, I'll, f I'll get to fixing them later. So, yeah. And for my very special grandson, that's our gra that's Tizel's grandpa. Dude has a scimitar apparently. I want you to have the sealed envelope. Shit, I'm really. It's it's so long since I did the old man voice. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Also, what's with the weird cross, Dad, uh, Grandpa? Now, listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. I don't know about that. I'm doing this. I'm doing this kind of shit just fine. <laughs> Break it for a ball. And your broad spirit will fight before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. And I apologize because Facebook notifications. Fucking hell. Uh, no. The crap I rest. XX years later. Uh, 20 years later. Choja, join us. Where the beer, where the beer, oh wait, no. Where the, where there's less beer and the work and the pay is shitty. Well, you're with Joja. Yeah, where there is less beer and the, and the pay is shitty. Oh, hey, creepy woody boy. Hey, there's me. Ugh. Fuck this, man. 
fuck this job? Co computer with no games? What is this? What is this bullshit? Okay, so we start off this game by having the fake little letter because apparently, yeah, this is the point where we feel crushed by the burdens of modern life. Though I would understand having a computer with no games to play on and work. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. I can, I don't condone this work environment. Fucking hell. Stop it. Okay. Dear Tizel, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people in nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. By the way, guys, I may be late to the bandwagon, but let me tell you right now, this chip tune, fucking amazing. Let me tell you what. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Tricks Farm. It's located in the Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It is the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Well then, this is it, guys. Thing, and this is the actual intro to the game. Yeah. Mm, get a feel for that nature. Get a feel for that nature, boy. Mm. Yeah. This is, this is some good shit, some high quality stuff. Stardew Valley, 0.5 miles. Really? That's not that far? Okay. I guess it would be the sun, but yeah, it's not that far compared to where I am. Oh. Yep, I guess we're getting off the bus. Okay. Hello. Oh, oh wait, no, uh, mm, Robin. God damn it. Uh, mm. Practice, girl voice, go. Hello. You must, ah, uh, fuck. I can barely hear how I sound on this, so apologies for now, but I'll just try to use the I know, hold on, just give me a s just give me a second, wait until I get the menus, then I'll then um I'll be able to pull out the voice probably. Because, you know, if I hear my own girl voice then I could try to improve it a bit. This is Trick's Farm. Hey, you're missing the capital F. Oh Jesus for fuck's sake, Grandpa! Like, was nobody ever cleaning this shit up? Before I came along, I mean, come on. L like, see, uh, this is the thing with all Harvest Moon games, and especially this one. Why don't people clean the fucking place when they when they know that people are obviously gonna move in there? Just saying, might need a bit of cleanup. Sure, it's a. Uh, mm. Sure. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Oh, 
Oh god, that hurts my fucking vocal cords. Hmm. Sir, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Yeah, I'd say old fashioned, but, uh, you know, log cabin. Rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty, but with a more apt Bird. Don't listen to her, Tyson. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so they buy one of our house upgrades. Now, uh, well, the reason why I'm saying this right now is, let me just modify the options a bit. Uh, yeah, let's uh, make this uh, volume a bit. Let's make the volume a bit, and then the sound volume here. Then the footstep volume a bit lower, and the ambient volume a bit there. There we go. Yeah. There, there we go, there we go. Now I can actually hear myself talk. Now, the reason why I'm saying wait until the game till the seed, and the, the reason why this is called the trickster playthrough, is because of this. Yes! I put mods in this thing. And I know what you're thinking. Are you gonna cheat, you fucking whore? You... Bastard! You... You... Unhonorable piece of shit! And I'm saying this right now. Yes! I put cheats there. Yes! I did put some shit there, but... Let me explain before you guys go all... Rudy-bitty-gooder on me. Basically, a trickster playthrough is different from a normal playthrough because in this one, I'll be using cheats to benefit this way in a way that would alienate other people. So here are the rules of a trickster playthrough. No, um, and that will be in the description below. The rules of a trickster playthrough are no, no using god, no using god mode. So infinite stamina, infinite health. Fuck that. No one will use that. Not even one heal or uh, one hit kill or daily luck. Now, tools. Infinite water and can. Nah, no. Money and all that? No. Uh, basically, I'll only use cheats if I lose something that's really important, or uh, if I lose something that's um important and essential, like for say, if I lose an axe, or if I lose my axe somewhere and I don't know where to go, uh, or my hoe, or my pickaxe or scythe, and I really obviously need it, then I'll use the item spawner to get it back. Uh, and, um, I'll only use it on certain situations where I really need it. Such as, say, relationships. Yeah, let's just say I'll be putting a lot of work while at the same time not putting a lot of work whenever my shit is gone. So, yeah, let's just say things will be a bit different. So, we look for a journal, introductions. It would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. 2 out of 28 people greeting, those 2 out of 28 being Lewis and Robin. So, yeah, this is our new home, everybody. Quite, uh, quite a house, this is. So, let's check here. We got a decorative bowl. Let's play, let's, uh, oh, oh, shit. Let's place that here in this uh, table. And, uh, we got some, we got some firewood here in case some shit happens. And uh, we got a red chow report and then uh, living off the land and all that. And we're left a package. Let's see what it contains. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, parsnip seeds. Now we got a new journal entry. 
Okay. You receive 50 parts of seeds. Here's a little sun- Ah. Okay, now I know what my old man voice sounds like. Jesus, fuck. Okay. Mm. Mm. Uh, fuck. Sorry. Here's a little something to get you started. Uh, here's a little something to get you started, Mayor Lewis. Okay. So, we've got parsnip seeds, and we got a new quest. Getting started. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hole to till the soil, then use a seed packet on the tilled soil to sow a crop. Water every day until the crop is ready for harvest. Cultivate and harvest a parsnip. Okay. This will be where I basically do some stuff now. Now, um, before we actually meet the villagers, let's uh, get to the meat and gr meat to the meat and nitty gritty of the game. Basically, harvest and cut some shit. Now, the reason why I'm doing this uh, part um, of cutting some shit and some other stuff is to clear it so that. Um, okay, let's see. Let's clear it up to. Uh, Oh, wait, shit. Oh, wait, shit. Uh, hold on. Boop. 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 Up to here. Let's clean it up to here. That fucking goddammit. Piece of shit. Okay. Let's clean it up to here on the left side and... Uh... Oh, shit. And here on the right... Oh. Here on the right side, so that we can get things done. Oh, we can also cut that with an axe, okay. Let's just cut down that piece of shit tree. And... There we go. Now we got some wood and some sap. There we go. Alright, now that we got a thing to do in this place, let's uh, till this by 4x4. Four by four. Now, let's see if I remember 4x4. Four four. It should be like... Uh, mm. Oh, shit. I fucked it up. Okay, maybe a 5x4. Uh, 1, 2, 3... Ah, fuck it. It should be good enough. So, let's water this land right here. Uh, okay, water, 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 uh, water, 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 water. Okay, there we go. This looks like a place. Let's plant some parsnips. Okay, so you see here, there's my stamina, which means I'll faint if I don't, you know, be careful and do things too much. So yeah, I'll have to sleep later. But for now, let's find that place and okay, there we go, and let's cut some of that and there we go, we got a full wa set of water. Now for now. Let's see if we can sell this stone and wooden sap. There we go. That should be that should be a great a great thing to start off the day. So, all right, let's go. Let's check bus stop in Pelican Town. So this is Pelican Town, so I read that away. Apparently, I'm normally running. So, huh? So uh, let's just keep on going, shall we? This is Pelican Town, everybody. This is your standard harvest moon town, filled with really convenient shit. Okay, so let's go meet the residents. Who are you? Oh right, I also forgot. I re I also had a mod where I basically replaced um every single character portrait that's normally shown into the game into anime-ish style portraits. So this is Carolyn. Mm. Hello, you must be Tizel, the new farmer. Carolyn. God damn it. I keep failing on my voices. Okay. And we have Jody, who hasn't been uh, updated to have her 
anime-ish look yet, so... Okay. Hmm. Oh. Oh. You don't exactly how I'm at, I imagine. But that's okay. I'm Jody. I, I really can't pull... Um, there are some girl voices that I can't pull. Particularly this one. The sassy girl voice, so... You know. They... 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 Uh, the sassy voice. Okay, so there's Vincent. Oh, a straight... Uh... Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Alright, so let's get ahead to the introductions. 5 out of 28. Oh, new guy. And that's Harvey. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Yeah, this is Harvey, our doctor. In case if we decide to be a stupid fuck and fade in the middle of our missions. Uh, middle of the things we do. So this is our, our our general store, and this is our general character, uh, general um, calendar. Louis's birthday, Haley's birthday, Vince's birthday, Shane, Pierre, and Emily. We'll meet these other characters sooner or later. So let's go ahead and uh, let's explore. Oh, old lady. Ah, Evelyn. Why, hello and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Yeah, my old man vo my old woman voice is the same as my old man voice. Fucking deal with it. Um, yeah. So, let's keep on going. And hmm, it's 3 p.m. So, generally, there should be uh, some people in this place that I could talk to. Come on, come on. I'm not just walking around a bunch of shit for not. Oh, hey, girl. Ah, Maru. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I mean, we're meeting you. Fucking hell. <clears throat> ah, okay. Let's just keep on going. There's a doghouse that apparently fucks up with their dog shit up. Okay, I filled the room with trash. Let's move on. And this seems to be a new area in which I can explore. But we'll explore the entirety of the town for now, so that when we rest, I can end it right here. So, let's, be, let's um, introduce ourselves to the people on board, huh? Oh, hey, someone left their shit. Shit, I hope nobody steals some pies, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Alex. Oh, hey, so you're a new guy, huh? Cool. See you around. Okay, so, uh, let's see if we can go in this house. Yay! Uh, let's talk to this old guy. Hmm. Her. It's irritating to, uh... Oh, there's new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off! Her. I'm trying to give it the stereotypical old man hates, uh, old man hates every, uh, old, old man hates everything. Err, kids get off my lawn! And all that. Oh yeah, okay, so Evelyn comes in. And I believe I haven't met you. Hey kid, the name's Pam. Mm. And of course, the stereotypical drunk mom character. Because, you know, drunk mom characters! Uh, let's keep going. There's a bottle of whiskey over there. Uh, we'll cross that bridge later, but for now, let's go and check what's inside of that trailer, shall we? Uh, no persons. Okay, let's keep on going then. Let's keep on running, keep on running. Because you know it's a privilege to keep on running. Okay, let's get inside this house. Oh, it's Lewis's house! Surprise, surprise! Alright. Now, uh, let's see. Uh, okay, bunch of sewer. Oh! A girl! Shit, it's a trap! God damn it! Uh, okay. Ah, the new farmer we've all been inspecting, and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. The stereotypical gentlemanly... Ah, uh, uh, person. You know the ones. Okay, we get to the next part of town, which has a blacksmith. Which is good if we're gonna need some shit, uh, we need to get some shit done. Oh god! The corporations are spread here! The corporations! Conspiracy theory and all that! I really don't know how to pull anything besides conspiracy theorists. 
theorist whenever a modern thing in a normal ditchy town is like, Oh hey, a minecart! Probably for when uh, we're gathering some shit. And, uh, hmm. Ah, uh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go meet the blacksmith, everybody! Fuck you, then, blacksmith! Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, let's see. It's locked, open, 8 a.m. to see. Oh, hey, we can finally meet the blacksmith himself. Uh, so this guy. Er, uh, ha! I'm clicked! The blacksmith! <laughs> so, yeah. Ah, it's getting dark, I see. Well, then. Let's, uh... Let's, uh, go ahead and, uh... Figure shit out in the morning. So, yeah. This tends to be a very boring game to most people. I'd understand. Most people can't keep their... I'd understand. This is only for people who can keep up their attention span for, for more like... For like one hour or so before dropping it. They're, 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 they're for people who like to be invested in this sort of thing. So, you know. I understand if it seems boring to you all. But, you know... This playthrough is gonna get more spicy and uh, a bit more cheatsy, probably if I need it as time goes on, so yeah, it's late at night, it's creepy as fuck, and there's only the sound of, uh, sound of crickets and, uh, most things chipping in the night, you know? The only thing missing now is an owl hoot, so uh, let's head home, shall we? And, uh, hmm. Nah, I'm not gonna clear any of that stuff. Okay, let's go in. And have a nice rest. Go to sleep for the night? Fuck yeah! So, here's our today's stats. Foraging for sap gave us 12 gold. Foraging for stone and others, uh, 69 gold. So, we got, in total, 81 gold. So, yeah. This is, uh... This is the game right here. Oh, there we go. Second spring, year one. Yeah, basically just like any other, um, just like any other, um, RPG, any other, uh, any other Harvest Moon game, by the way, any other, other Harvest Moon game, basically entails things like this, where you basically literally have to be... Um, patient, take your time, you know, just like real, real life farming. So, I'm gonna end this here for now because, don't worry, I'll be, I'll be back, I'll be back to continue this day in particular. So thank you so much for watching, if you'd like to see more from me, click that subscribe button, and, um, click the subscribe button. Also, don't forget, also, don't forget to leave a like and comment to give like comment i always love to hear an opinion on how i could improve this series and i'll see you guys in the next video but till then keep on shocking